Again. Reflex save. Alright. Uh, 17. 17. Let me roll Martin's. Oh no. Oof. Okay. Oh, 82. Right after you say that, yeah, and Martin's like, yeah, got your back, and then immediately one of the tentacles basically flies up and, like, basically swats the watchtower. <laughs> oh! <laughs> The two of you go out of it as the building basically like disintegrates on the stand it was on from the tentacle hitting it and the two of you fall about maybe like 25, 30 feet. Again, you grab the pole of the side and you're basically able to like roll yourself onto the ground. Then you basically see Martin fly into the wall and basically just barely miss a full on impact but you see his shoulder hit the wall. Oh. Uh, how far is, uh, Annika? Annika is now up on the platform about 30 feet to your left, well, to your right, essentially. And then about, like, maybe, um, I'm gonna say, like, another 25, 35 feet upward. <laughs> And I'm guessing Martin's unconscious at this. Uh, no, he's screaming in, un in undeniable pain right now as, like, zombies are starting to come out the woodwork. <laughs> uh, alright, in that case, I'm going to run over to him, rip off the shoulder of his thing, ball it up, put it towards his mouth, bite this, and then gonna pick him up. On the way, Martin, roll me a dodge. <laughs> Can I use my Aikido to dodge? Because you technically can dodge using martial arts. Well, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Alright. That's 28. Much, much better than it would have been without. Alright, so you start weaving through the zombies and stuff, and then you get up to Martin. And let me go ahead and roll Martin's reflex. Okay, so you start weaving through, then you pretty much see uh, the zombies starting to surround Martin as he's flailing on the floor trying to get up. And then as one's about to bite him, he basically kicks its leg out and it falls out on top of him. And the zombies start eating the zombie on top of Martin in a circle. <laughs> Go ahead and roll me an attack to be able to pull Martin out that horde. <laughs> uh, alright. Akito is actually good at grabs. If this if this is considered a grab, then it is. Yeah, go ahead. I believe their bonus is a plus two, but I gotta really check because it's been it's been really really long since we've uh, done this. Grapples are at plus two. So, uh, go there, mod two. 33. 33? All right, you basically show up and shove one zombie off, then another, then you basically slide the one off of Martin, then as one's about to grab him, you basically grab his leg and slide him out the group as they're chomping, and then you can see them starting to come from every which way. But, before you can look at one of those, one of the tentacles flail, flails back around. Roll me one more dodge. And, uh, Keto dodge is actually at plus three. 33 again. 33? Alright, you're just able to slowly push you and Martin out the way as the tentacle takes out like four to five of them. And you're starting to see the mask start to unravel, and there's like red eyes starting to appear in the blob itself. <laughs> Throwing him over my shoulder. It's painful for him. Gen knows it. 
again, doesn't have the time to care. Yeah, as you start moving, Alex, you start seeing all these warning lights going on, then you see the horde get way more active, then as you turn around, another zombie is behind you about to grab you. Roll me a reflex save. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> uh, reflex. Thirteen. Thirteen? Alright, you dodge out the way of it, but it manages to land a push on you, and you find yourself starting to lean back off the side of the observation wall. <laughs> you got two seconds to tell me what you're gonna do. Uh, wait, uh, so, like, am I, like, is it leading this way, the wall, or? No, like, you're at the edge of the wall when you turned around, the zombie, like, grabbed you to bite you, you missed the bite, but it still, like, pushed on you. And you're at the edge of the wall, getting ready to go. Uh, okay, uh, I'll try like you know, like, uh, like use the inertia to like spin me around with the zombie, and then like push the zombie and push myself, using the force to push me back, back to the. Uh, I, I guess the... roll me in athletics, <laughs> which would be. Body. Uh, reflexes athletics. Oh, reflexes of athletics? Okay. Would judo count? Sure. It was pretty good at, at flipping people, but... 25. 25? Alright, you're just barely able to kind of turn the zombie around and give you enough momentum to where you basically stop yourself from sliding off but you still drop and grab yourself with your arms, and you can pretty much see the horde starting to pile up on the bottom coming up the wall. Do I see any uh, safe landing or, or, or not? You get the feeling if you take one out from the bottom of that group, the whole stack will fall and it might give you a window. <laughs> okay, I'll probably uh, shoot. With the uh, revolver? That'll be handgun, right? Yep. How many bullets? <laughs> uh, I'll shoot once, or. Oh, I'll shoot. Two times. The head. Oh, well, that's gonna be like a minus four. Oh, <laughs> uh, fine. Uh, I'll if use you one. Don't hit the head, it doesn't matter. True. I mean, I'll shoot once uh, and aim it at the head of. Set right. to killer zombie. I'll be a minus, minus, minus four, right? Four, yep. Fumbled. Because your initial roll was a one. One D hundred. Forty one. Okay. That should still be good enough to hit them at that range. So, you pull the revolver out, and as you get ready to aim, one of them grabs your feet and basically sh yanks you down. Then as you're getting yanked down, it basically comes up, and as you start piling into the horde, you let the one hand get shot off. It takes the dome out of that one zombie and kind of lets you slide roll out into the bottom, taking one wound point. <laughs> Okay. Slight, lightly injured. Um, do I see anybody? Uh, you see a lot of zombies around you right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, Can he hear Martin screaming? Oh, that is true. Awareness notice. <laughs> Thirty-two. Thirty-two. You can hear the commotion happening at the front with the blob, like, throwing everything around. <laughs> but did I hear the scream? You hear some screams, not distinct. Okay, so the zombies are piling behind me. Then I, I start running, like, slightly towards the blob, looking away for a way to, you know, like, Go to a different direction. Alright, dodge escape. 
Nineteen. Nineteen? Alright, you're yeah. able to start weaving your way through the crowd. And as you start getting closer to the front, pretty much, it's tight. Like, unbelievably tight. You feel one wrong move and you're done. So, as you're going through, you pretty much get up to the front. And as you start getting close to where you can see the tentacles starting to thrash in every which direction, you turn. As you round the corner, you're about to see everything at the end more in focus. Then a zombie turns around and goes to bite you on the shoulder, getting a grip on you but just barely misses you as you pull out the wave because I rolled a fumble on the bite. Um, so is, is he still gripping? Is the zombie he, still gripping on me? He has a grip on you. Uh, I'll probably, you know, uh, use my judo and, and you know, uh, like free myself from it, from him, and, and continue, like, uh, running. Um... I guess that would be another dodge judo escape. flip him? Well, yeah, judo or dodge escape. How about the 23? All right, so you're able to more or less narrowly weave your way out of it as you start getting closer to the group. Annika and Ray, reflex saves each. <laughs> 13. 13? I'm gonna use, uh, like, a luck. Now would be the time. Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> Alright. Roll me a 1d100. Thirty-six. <sighs> that is under our forty rule. No, I understand. I know. I'm just saying it because, oh God, why? Just by right. four points. <laughs> As you guys are staying there, you basically see two, three tentacles basically fly up onto the platform and start thrashing at like neon, like. Faster than Mach 5 speed. Fuck. Three, you oh, go to dodge, and then the thing knocks you about mm -hmm. 10 feet up in the air because you don't move out the way fast enough. Annika, you go to grab him, then you successfully grab her A. But as you do, another tentacle hits you in the side, giving you four poor wound points of damage, flinging you off the observation deck down the ramp. Ow! Can Roll I see me. this since I'm specifically going towards them? How do, uh, Everyone's now in view of each other because you can all see Ray and Annika up in the air and then Alex is caught up to Gen. <laughs> you hear... You hear her scream Ray really loud. Like, really loud. <laughs> Alright. Ray. What am yeah. I rolling? You you're got full four wood points, so you yeah, put that you're on down your, four uh, wood sheet. points, so you just tag that on your sheet. <laughs> okay, yes, well uh, no, I thought you said I was gonna. I had to roll something right. Before. No, I gotta I gotta have okay. Ray roll. Ray, okay, what do you want to do? Yep. Sense empathy. Yep. <laughs> Ray, in the air, yes. you feel mm -hmm. your body almost reverberate as though you can't really stop what's about to happen. As you start falling, you basically see your veins basically wind out almost fourfold. When you land on the ground, you hit the ground, and you pretty much see 
the concrete dent underneath you as you hit the floor. <laughs> Can he at least try and protect Attica as she falls? Roll 1d6. Two. Two? Yes. You feel your arms start to widen out, and then you pretty much start to see claws start to form out your arm, and then out your shoulder blades as well. <laughs> Where, I had the pills on me, right? Yep. Try to take one as this is happening. You're unable to. You can't steady your arms, and you basically feel your legs start to mutate as well as they get more arched and muscular. Ray. Yes? You have mutated one level. You now have a body of 15. Well, fuck. As it sort of happens, instincts are like some squeeze screams out and like this, this new form. And then he remembers, oh my God, shit! and he runs after her. Just slides down, basically. Before you oh, can run after her, Annika, roll me the 1d100. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this uh, is so intense. Seven. Why did he need to roll a 1d100? To see if he can retain control in this form. <laughs> Ah, okay. Oh. Failed, I imagine. You fail, another. and you see another adversary right in front of you. You also feel your back, where the blades started to come out, start to bend up, crick, and like double muscle as you feel like fleshy wings starting to come out of it. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, but I don't think we're saving Ray anymore. I think Ray is either going to um, save himself or get burned alive, because none of us is going to be able to stop that. What's the adversary manages the Tesco monster? Yep. He has no control over himself, so he goes after it. Alright. Annika, roll me an awareness notice. For the record, this is amazing and so sad. <laughs> he can finally fly over the ocean. <laughs> 29? You see Ray mutate right in front of you. <laughs> can she try to get to his medication? I mean, it, Could was, I roll... on, it was on Ray, so that's up to you. <laughs> can she try to... She's young. She's listen. She's she's injured, but she's young, dumb, and in love, and she's getting a kick of adrenaline. So she's gonna try to to jump him and see if she could grab a pill and force it in his mouth. Do you not see the claws on his body? And Back the and shoulders. Wait. I don't think he cares. Listen. 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 <laughs> young, dumb, in love. I'm trying to think of how I would allow this to happen. To or, okay, the other thing, the other, okay, the other method is, and I'm super sorry, she will okay. aim the shotgun at his kneecap and see if she can shoot him and then try, listen, if she can shoot him, at least it could handicap him enough to, to get him on her level so she could try to push the pill in his mouth. Okay, Hales, Hales, let me freeze you there for a second. <laughs> this person that you love so much is in danger. Bang! She's <laughs> That's essentially what you're arguing for. Yeah, I understand, but she also just took a bad fall and saw him mutate, and like, you might not think clearly if this is her first combat situation, which it really is. No, no I know, I'm just saying like, you love Buddy. this person. Let me kneecap them real quick. Boy, with my shot. Wouldn't, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you have seen first when uh, Ray got hit by the tentacle, and then you? Because that's how it happened. I believe you would have seen that, and then saw Ray at least Ray falling down and mutating. So you at least know if he gets so injured he, enough. He got up 
and he's running towards me though now. No, he's running towards well, no, he's, he's not uh, running towards you. I'm running towards the monster because I have no control of my buddy anymore. Oh, okay. I misinterpreted who he was running at when he's out of control. Sorry, I as, thought he was running as at Monica, me. Are you are you rolling the shotgun roll yes or no? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, roll it. Okay. Twenty. Skull, I'm gonna allow you if you wanna have a dodge to this. Just for character instinct, I use your instinct it will. So would you allow a couple of hours? Or is it just dodge right now? So that'd be uh reflexes. If you don't have it. Damn, almost. Just by one point. Sorry. Alright, so uh Annika finding yourself in the ditch up against the wall at the bottom of the V. You see Ray start to mutate, then you basically heave the shotgun up and rack it. Not thinking clearly, you fire one shot. Ray, as you're starting to fly towards this thing, you pretty much see the shotgun pellets hit you up across the side of your body. And you look to the side momentarily, and you see Annika. Roll me one more humanity roll. <laughs> yes! It'll be worth again getting me killed for this moment. Two luck points. Twelve. Okay. As you see Annika, and she stares at your form that's becoming less and less human, you momentarily regain control. <laughs> And I tried to run towards him. He's going to send. <laughs> How was that? Is that shotgun? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like you take three wound points, Ray. <laughs> uh, how the far are you're on the very tiptoe range of it? How Money. far are we from them? About thirty yards. <laughs> Body doesn't body stop the damage, or is it already reduced? It it reduces it to one at most. Actually, more is a body can be now. No, 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 no. no. I'm it's saying the minimum your body can reduce it to is one. It's impossible okay. to reduce past one. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know. Body. My vote. Apologies. All right, so I'm on two now. So light. So I'm gonna drop to the uh, near her. Ah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She shouts. <laughs> She'll sort of put the shotgun down. Ugh, fuck. Okay, hang on. It's just. I'm the right. I'm dangerous. It's, it's only a light wound. I'll be fine. Here, um. The pills. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. Also here, and she'll give you one of the remaining two. I think there were only two left after Alex took one. She gives you one of the remaining two pain meds. And starts trying to... I don't know. She's she's trying to help. It went terribly I'm, wrong. I'm <laughs> she picks against uh, medication with pain meds. I'm, 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 great. Taking, I'm not taking the pain meds. I'm just taking them for now. I'm taking the... The empathy method, or whatever the fuck that is. And she'll so. she'll try to bandage the wounds that she caused. Sorry, panicked. Sir shakes his head. Still catching breaths. Does the pill do anything, Tommy? We will get back to that. Again, you see Alex basically come into the bay with you where the tentacles are starting to fling. Uh, yeah, Gen, as much as he wants to just throw Martin to Alex and be like, get him to safety, uh, how strong is Alex? 
Okay, so this is going to tell you. He has a body uh, at 8, he has endurance at 4, and strength feet at 2. He would be... He'd be able to carry Martin and wouldn't be super efficient. <laughs> Uh, going to Ray and Annika, would that be more dangerous or less dangerous than just being like, here, take him and go? Less, because you're putting distance between you and the biggest threat that's kind of just spazzing all over the place. <laughs> okay. In that case, uh, Gen's just gonna scream over to Alex, over there. Ray and Annika are over there, and then he's gonna start running. Uh, as you scream at him, he'll probably say, like, scre screaming, zombies are, be uh, are behind us, uh, and he'll start, like, picking up the pace. Uh, are zombies basically riding his ass? Yeah. Uh, then Gen's gonna stop for a moment, swear, hold up, hold the pin with his teeth, and throw one of the incendiary grenades behind him. Well, I, I specifically have athletics. So. 26. Alright, so pretty much you're able to chuck a grenade behind you, and then it spits fire and basically creates a window as you basically see around 10 to 15 zombies catch a blaze and start swinging as they're on fire but collapse. <laughs> As you start moving through there, you can see the tentacles coming around for another to whack. Both Alex and Yen uh, reflex. Uh, when it meets the burning uh, zombies, does it does it react at all? Does that like slow it down? Um, at this will, point, I'm stuck. I will I will answer that after these two rolls. <laughs> will that be twenty three? Uh, Never mind. 23. <laughs> nice. Hey. You know what? <laughs> Internet high five, man. You know what? They're in sync. So, the two of you are able to move out the way and keep moving. Yeah, and you know Bye, bye, the... bye, 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 bye. You said they were in sync. God damn it. Please leave. <laughs> Okay, bye, have a nice session. Oh, we'll figure out a different way of saving my sister. <laughs> anyway. The two of you are able to just barely, like, move out the way as it basically knocks one of the walls. Again, you see as it basically hits one of the fire zombies, the tentacle basically, like, recoils back reactively, like, that hurt a lot. <laughs> Alright then. So we know fire is not its friend. It's a plant, so that was kind of to be expected, but... Was it identified as a plant? I guess I'm just assuming that it's a plant. And From the looks of it, would it, would it be considered a plant? No. No. Okay then. No. Anyway, you two start running for the sake of time in the session. I'll say the two of you can start getting close to Annika and Ray. <laughs> uh, as they're running, probably like uh, he'll he'll look again and then at Martin, like seeing if they're injured or like how severely injured they are. And um, once you get closer to Annika and Ray, he'll he'll. Uh, Who'll we'll mention about Aaron still being alive? Uh, Gen almost like he doesn't hear or see you is just charging for Trick Uh, he, he's he's too one one fo one directionally focused Annika, at this moment. Uh, Annika will. Oh, wait, what's happening with Ray's medication? First of all, Gen's medication. Uh, it, seems, oh, yeah. it seems like Ray is becoming more aware, but it's not really like reversing what's happening at this second. <laughs> like you're feeling okay, like he's getting more control over where he is right now. <laughs> but the mutation is stuck. Yeah. 
Okay, does that mean if... Okay, sorry. So he's... Technically could infect her. Possibly. Fuck it. Yeah. She grabs his face and she goes, Sorry! And she kisses him and then she's gonna try to fix the wound she just shot at him. Listen, if we're going down and becoming evil, this is my only shot. Like, <laughs> we might not make it out of this, guys. <laughs> I, I guess roll a med tech. Uh -huh. Alright. She's... Where am I? Oh, here it is. Alright. Uh, shit. I think I only used... Oh no, I think I used all my luck. Okay. That, that wasn't a big gauge. <laughs> Ray is definitely a fucking surprise. 25! Okay, you can start bandaging up where you shot him the way at, and it looks like it'll be effective with a little bit of time. <laughs> Uh, she's moving kind of slow, though. Well, she's... Uh... She, she looks roughed up. J just saying. Ray looks at his new appendages, basically, just inspects them. Ray's in shock. He's like, was I yeah. just pissed? What the fuck is this? Yeah. There's lots of shit happening. And about now is where you can see the other three running up towards you. <laughs> oh god, okay. Uh, well, shit! What about Sakura? She yells as Alex is getting closer. <sighs> that was not the time! We gotta run! Uh, Alright. Uh, Gen's gonna be booking it towards him, and then he's gonna, like, stop a foot or two away. Uh, you looked better, right? Listen, he's yeah. it's a long story. As you see, like Are those wings functional. Yes. Great. I need I need you to use them. Are you sure? <laughs> that doesn't even matter for me anyway. Where, where do you need to go? Ah. Okay. My sister is bleeding out, and I was told I've got three minutes to get to her. She's Grabs that you. way, and what? again. Points, no, uh, wait, wait, I, I, you got a We need you it. somewhere else. No, what? Soccer is unconscious. Aaron is bleeding out. No. Gen, uh, when you when you go to pick up Gen, no, not me. I, I'm no good at that. I need you to take her. Wait, but if you, then are you two going after Sakura? I, I guess. Well, yeah, it would. Okay. Don't would, let uh, me go for Sakura. Would, there. The direct, would the direction of 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 Hari be where Sakura and Erin are at? No, she's in the back of the maze on the left. Wait, hold on. Where? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, it will, yeah. would it be around that area? Sakura, how how They're Sakura and Erin? Right? The maze further back. <laughs> are Sakura and Erin injured? Yes, Sakura's unconscious. Wait, wait. Aaron? Aaron's alive. I've been telling you that since we were running. Hang, hang on one second. The idea is that you'll take uh, Annika to Akari because you can get there the fastest. You don't have to worry about oh, zombies. You, can, you barely you gotta get, worry about. And you about. can get us out of the maze. Okay. Whereas... And you can fly. So let's... Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Okay. And we have Sakura uh, who's... Also, oh. uh, some dude left in the elevator earlier. Yeah, fuck that guy. Ah, uh, but I need you two need to go now because my sister ain't got long. Um, quick, quick question, I mean, did, is Ray taller now, or or is he still All right, so still... I'm gonna need a recap on the two three minutes I walked away from. <laughs> oh, so we decided good. that um, Gen and Alex are gonna go back for um. Aaron and Sakura, and then Ray is gonna fly Annika to try to get Akari. Alright, so we can do that, and they answer Ray's question. You're about like eight foot tall now, Ray. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh my gosh, and she's only like five four. So you went from being smaller than Gen to, wow, how's the weather up there, buddy? 
It right looks fun. Kyle, and, and you know now Attica's oh. just like a teeny tiny troll doll compared. It's like <laughs> when Mori like... would do the act and come to yep. episode. Okay. So he's gonna he's gonna wrap his so he's gonna wrap his arms around Anika. We'll see you in a bit. Then he's gonna lift her up, fly up towards where they told our uh, uh, Apari's at. Right. Thank you. Uh, do you have your pistol out openly? At uh, the moment? revolver. The... Yeah, the revolver. Yeah, I do. Uh, again, reaches into his uh, pocket, and pulls out three pistols. Or three magnum shots. Here, take Wait, these. Uh, oh, you... <laughs> damn. <laughs> damn, you got some good pants there, my dude. Uh, here, take these and lead the way. Annika tosses a. <laughs> oh yes, uh, he's got he's got that on his back, but he's not thinking about it. So yeah, if you uh... want that, now's the time to speak up. Yeah, she'll take it. Uh, I... <laughs> He, uh, you say it, he, he hands it to you. Okay. I'll probably start like saying how I got here, and then uh, if Martin hears, then he knows how. Because I believe Martin already mapped out the area since he's photogenic. He'll probably already know like how to get there. Because I we're blocked from the way that I that I came from, so we'll have right. to find a different way to get there. So we got about thirty minutes of game time left. So for the sake of brevity, I'm gonna say. Both Alex and Gian roll me a combined athletics just to get there. <laughs> That'll be on uh, reflex, right? Yes, reflex athletics. Ray, because you're flying, you don't really need to roll one just yet. <laughs> okay. Alright. I'm proud of my reflex. reflex. God damn, man! <laughs> you were rocking that! Adrenaline is pumping. Alright. So, we're gonna basically come back up to Annika and Ray flying down to where Akari's unconscious with, like, blood coming on, out from all of her orifices. Fuck. Okay, uh... Drive. Drop Annika, I'm <laughs> just I don't drop like I just I land, put her on the ground, let her get to work. Okay. Let's see. Nineteen. So you go up to Kari and like blood's pouring out of every which thing, like out her mouth where her eyes where you can see that like her body looks like it's almost shattered to a degree. <laughs> Shit. Like she fell straight down and just landed on the ground. You feel that she's not dead yet, but the proper thing to then try to buy some time is to pretty much, you know, uh, get her out of there. <laughs> okay, is there, like, any rebar or... Like, anything I could, like, lay her on and then hopefully... Or, like, a sling I could try to make with something to, like, have Ray get her out of there? Um, there's, like, some scrap cloth and, like, two pieces of 2 by 4 where you can make, like, a makeshift to, like, two-position cradle. <laughs> okay, uh... You need to take her out of here as fast as you can. Alright. Uh. Get to work done. I'll okay. meet you out there. Alright. We, we can't split up. If we need to save her, you need to go. You guys basically start making your way back with uh, Martin 
on your back yeah and then you basically come up to the room then Aaron just leaned up against the wall with his stick of rebar and just looks towards the two of you yo Aaron that you were dead me too cuz now get you out of here you gotta get soccer you, you gotta... walk also uh what state is Martin in at this point Martin, he can walk, it's just his, like, left arm is completely, like, shattered. <laughs> uh, again, we'll set Martin down at this point, then. Uh, Pick up Sakura. I'll, we'll, me and Martin will carry Aaron right. on our shoulders. You gotta get uh, Again, gonna reach down and then throw Sakura's massive body over his shoulders, fireman style. Yeah, so you you do. Aaron helps himself up, then you guys start running. I guess roll me one more athletics and one more dodge evade. Roll evade rolls. Uh, would that be in sense? When yeah. when the tentacle starts coming, can I instead throw a grenade at it to try and uh, get it to instead of attacking us? Fuck off! Essentially, I as a GM would strongly encourage you to hold on to your grenades. <laughs> okay. In that case, uh, here's that athletics roll. You said evade. Yep. It's okay. I strong a body. 24. 24. Alright. So all of you start weaving through and through. And then you start getting up around to the other ele other ladder to the elevator area and as you start getting to the ladder martin goes first because his arm is broken aaron goes then alex yeah and you start climbing then as you're about to get to the ladder you turn around and a zombie surprises you and basically sinks its teeth down into your shoulder blade uh i am still wearing my reinforced key well, yeah, well, yeah de depending you on go, what you do, you get different damage, but... Go ahead and, like, roll um, a reflex of some sort. <laughs> uh... Aikido? Or just straight-up reflexes to dodge? I, I'd say straight-up reflexes, because you have to jump on you. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, um, so that beats me by 10, so whatever it is, you add a additional <laughs> d6. Or whatever damage he's going to do. That's nine. <laughs> All right, that's not enough to pierce my uh, gi because it has very good armor. Thank you for letting me add that. But it does uh, reduce in a, a Yeah, it much. does reduce it. Uh, let's see. This would be considered right arm, right? Uh, yeah. Effectively. So, yeah, 15 currently. Right. Yeah, that, that doesn't get through, but it has reduced the effectiveness of my right arm. Alright. Now you can roll an attack to get it off of you, and you can't Aikido with this. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, that is a fumble. Don't want to roll a 1d40. That would Can I shoot it? 44. 44? So it's not a crit fail. It is just a natural. Uh, you don't get it off of you and its bite starts to tighten down. I'm going to roll one more d6. And then, yes, you can roll to shoot it. <laughs> I mean, uh, if, if that still hits it, that would still hit it. That... Yeah, I'm saying I'm honoring. We have rolled that. 
let me roll this and then I'll adjust. Alright, so you get reduced by one more point on your armor, then you eventually do get it off of you. Alright, uh, then I am going to charge up the, the ladder, I guess. Uh, you do, and you eventually get to the top. Ray and Annika. Okay, out of character, Annika's like, I don't know that you can carry both of us, and she's fucked. Like, <laughs> if we're yeah. gonna actually save her, she needs to get out fast. So she's... Alright. Ray's gonna... Alright. Ray, you can roll me in an yeah. intelligence roll for your cost. Sure. Yeah, I was gonna ask if I could, could. Could I pull this off with, with my new body and all that? 15? With your current strength, you feel you can carry both of them. Okay. I'm going to lift. Araka, like. Jackie, or Araka. Carefully, Akari and Nanaka. Yeah. Yeah, Akari. Ah. Akari carefully. Yeah, I'd sort of lift her carefully. I'm going to sort of gently put her over my soul, over my soldier, and then grab Anaka immediately before she could do anything. Put her over my other shoulder and fly up. Can Anaka be over his shoulder in a way where the gun is useful? If they need it. It depends how Ray grabbed you. <laughs> if he just threw you up over your shoulder, then from behind him you can. <laughs> yeah, I put her from behind, basically. Fireman's carry. Annika's like, oh! Okay. Like, yeah, double fireman's carry, basically. Like... I mean, fireman's carry is uh, basically they go from left to right on your shoulders. Ah, uh, okay. No, this no. This would um... be half... Half hoop yeah, carrying half essentially. Yeah, half hoop. Double right. half hoop carrying basement. So you're full hoop carrying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you completed the hoop. Here's yeah, your sorry. achievement. <laughs> you it it. It. <laughs> New achievement unlocked. Alright. So Ray, roll me roll me two athletics rolls. Roll well, my friend. Twenty eight. Why does it have to fumble the second fucking? Well, it, remember, it's not a fumble until you've rolled less than forty. I mean, he picked he picked up Akari first, so she's fine. Annika on the other 47. hand, forty-seven. Seventy-seven. Oh, seventy-seven. Okay. Wait, so you, you guys get up to the elevator, the first group, and then Ray, you pick up both Akari and Annika. Akari's been properly braced and splinted up. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then as you basically fly up, you feel the weight of this, then you pretty much see, like, the tentacles starting to rive through the air, and you basically dodge them as you're moving, like... They're moving Mach 4, you're, like, moving Mach 2 without you realizing it. Then as yep. you basically dive bomb towards the elevator... You go to, like, air break yourself of the wings, but because you're not used to this, pretty much as the room starts to incinerate, all of you get into the elevator, but, Ray, your wings burn off as the door closes. They're gone? Yep. Take two wing ah. points. That looks like like some, some, some Diablo shit. Damn. <laughs> ah. All of you are in the elevator. Ray, about now the pill oh, starts to work and you start mutating back with incredible pain. <laughs> oh god! And uh, Annika will attempt to, like, patch up his shoulders, I guess? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Gen is going to be focused on Akari basically taking her and trying to... Whatever energy she gave him way back when, he's trying to find that energy and push it back. 
So I'm back on the body 10, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'll be checking on our rest of the party. I'll be checking uh, 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 on Sakura's wound, on Aaron's wound. If they, if they reopen, we'll try to, you know... Um... So, again, as everything's happening in this elevator that's barely enough space, you see Akari, like, braced up, like... <laughs> a fraction of the person that she was just from the sheer damage she took from that ball. The card. Down on a knee and doesn't know what to do so he's just kind of gently holding her hands. As you hold Akari's hands you kind of notice like her wounds starting to regenerate a little bit and then as you continue to hold her hands you kind of notice like more marks and stuff starting to appear on your hand as you basically see your vision almost like blur out and then you collapse on the floor uh can i make an endurance check to hold on longer and push myself further to whatever is happening? No, because this took every ounce of you out. <laughs> Alright, okay. <laughs> In that case, again, And at hard. this point, it goes to total darkness. You don't see anything, you don't hear anything. Then your eyes slowly open and you notice you're on the opposite end of the situation that you were before. She's holding my hands. You see your hands being held from Akari's point of view. <laughs> oh, like I'm seeing out of her eyes. Yep. Is this as I fall unconscious? Afterwards. Like, uh... That kind of startles him, and he he raises his hand to like his head because he's not sure what he's seeing. But I guess it's Akari's hand or her head. Yep. Akari? What? What the? F What the fuck is happening? And that is where we'll end the session. <laughs>